Let us commence with our Google Earth tour of the ocean. Let's start with this area of the world um, near Central America, South America. So let's check it out, these potential large-scale maneuvers. So let's hop over to Google Earth and give a look into these potentially artificial features. Okay. So here we are, and turn these off real quick. So first up, we got this uh, fairly linear ridge here, just looking like some type of dirt, dirt, dirt. And this edge of it isn't particularly linear, although we have all this business going on, whether this is an image glitch, although why it's so wobbly, uh, your guess is as good as mine, and so many different weird glitches going on. Uh, but a possible possible linear features like like this ridge right here that may be genuine a genuine ocean floor feature. Um, tough to say for certain. Uh, possibly even continuing over here, and like this. So many different looks to the stitching, uh, including weird direction changes and stuff. Okay, uh, and quick measurement here. So if this were an artificial maneuver, it would be 350 miles across and what, about 500, 700 miles wide. And then another one is this guy right here looking like some type of clean ridge or edge of some type of uh, terraforming potentially. And then here we have this one on the other side, uh, possibly a real feature, possibly image stitching issue. And uh, this not quite clear, many of these lines And then little stuff like this, like how are they able to image like this little bit, but not here and here and here and here? You know what I mean? Like it's there's kind of like a inconsistency in the stitching style, which is suspicious if these are image glitches or image stitching lines. Okay. Um, and then little stuff like this, very curious in my opinion not to be ignored, and if you think that's a pipe or something, then just note that it is almost a mile across, so 3,000 feet across. I don't know many pipes, oil pipelines or anything that's 3,000 feet across, you know what I mean? So if that's a real feature, then it's not, uh, it's not like the internet cables or anything like that, I think. Okay. Um, all right, and then all these, whoops, sorry, got to turn around for a second. Let me get back, okay. So these, some of these diagonal lines, like this one right here, uh, might be a real feature, a little strange. And let's get a quick historical photo look, see how some of these look. Man, so some of these aren't. Either the contrast is really bad, or it just doesn't give a good look until recently. But this feature does seem to be a real feature, this like long sweep here. Uh, certainly this squared off feature is persistent throughout the, the years. Squared off, huge 350 mile wide thing there. All right, and then some of these diagonal lines like this guy, the parallel cross hatching, this, like these little linear, or well, that might be natural, potentially, but just a long diagonal thingamajig. And many of these 
kind of fanning out from like this central point, I guess, somewhere like right here. Uh, it looks like just rays of images. So there's a chance that that's image stitching. But uh, I don't know, just the look of it, like this almost looks like a ridge of some kind. And then this like right next to it, this and this. Many different patterns. And I was looking at these, I was thinking like these might be like sheared flat mesas, more or less. And it's possible that it's just uh, a lapse in the imagery or uh, a lapse in available data. These things that kind of look like mesas. Or maybe they're actually less flat than it appears. Um, but it's interesting to ponder. Okay, and then we also have this. Again, like a like a hair clipper, like a buzzer, just or like the, a felt tip marker, you know, just like a stroke here, almost, and some kind of ridge here, continuing. So looking quite strange, not to mention like this stuff, er, er. and. Like this groove right here, even right here, these like these long meandering grooves or ridges. They're uh, they're too. Some of them are too organic to to my eye to be digital glitches. Like I could imagine it being a, a image stitching thing from here to here, but like this aspect of it is looking a little more organic this area and like this you see it kind of meander so it's like long weird ridges and it's basically the same story on the whole ocean floor so you really only need to look at a few case studies to understand what's going on like stuff like this I couldn't tell you what that is there okay so let me see if I have any place marks I want to point out. Uh, long linear groove, pretty much got all of those. Direction change, okay, maybe just like this little sweepy there. So we've seen a few slightly curved maneuvers. And then just this little start and stop one right here, just short little segment here with an orthogonal component and this going this way with these cross hatchings and all kinds of angles and stuff and whatever this is and uh, so possibly some type of deception going on with the image rendering possibly innocent like it's just legit uh, hiccups in the the image stitching style, but that would actually surprise me due to the weirdness of it, especially since there's stuff like, uh, where's that North Pole ribbon? It's like a ribbon of weird data on the North Pole. Yeah, right here. Like, if you remember this guy, just like, this doesn't look like a, this looks like deliberate. Again, like more, more of the deliberate mystery, like something meant to drag you into a false line of inquiry just like oh my gosh is it a code is it data oh it looks like little waveforms like what is it so it's like a, a dead end uh trail of breadcrumbs or like a false code or like you know like you decode it and it says drink more ovaltine or just like something useless so it's like a um or just like a string of nonsensical letters or just nothing at all so it's uh, useless um, gibberish or uh, meant to draw you in as a way to distract you from important stuff, potentially. Um, so there could be something fishy with the image rendering and then also something fishy with the actual ocean floor. So I think hopefully I won't repeat myself too many more times on that one. Possible legit bridges and stuff herky-jerky patterns just like 
segments and like what is this like how would an image render like this like why would it be so herpy derpy like you see this like herky jerky all over the place so that that doesn't seem to me like a organic or like a legit rendering error that seems like uh, deliberate nonsense on uh, who, who's responsible for it I couldn't tell you I can't I can't say it's Google necessarily I can't uh, I can't say it's any particular government organization or rogue AI or I don't know it could be anything so and then here just catching my eye these very many ridges and different looks to the uh, these grooves, long grooves, change change of direction, er, er. so lots to consider. Okay, place marks, anything else I should point out? That's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, if you wanted to stop watching here, I think you'd have the, uh, the main uh, takeaways already, so you you might just be able to skim through the rest of the video and still get most of the value. Uh, just random zoom here. Lots of angular stuff. These parallel lines. Um, I mean, there's a chance that that's legit features on the floor, but that would actually surprise me. I think it's probably garbling of the imagery. Like just all the different directions of parallel lines, like this way, this way, this way these multiple diagonal angles this little patch here just to me not uh, well I mean even as I say it I, I guess if there's a whole bunch of different sources for the images and they all cover different uh, areas and use different photography strategies or whatever the term is then it, the stitching might be actually haphazard the way that the images are rendered together so I guess that's that's a possibility no tomfoolery necessary I suppose all right so parallel lines of unknown origin okay it's uh Let's go back to our images and uh, see where else we got this. I don't know exactly where this is, so I guess we can't tour it, but the, uh, the little um, uh, little direction, or uh, what should we call it? Little hiccups in the direction could be legit, or I think I already commented as much as I needed to in the previous video. Okay, this one. All right, let's, yeah, let's cruise over here in, uh, the Gulf of Europe, as it's not called, and by that I mean the Mediterranean Sea. And so we have this long groove here, just cruising all the way through the Mediterranean. Oops. And it basically just goes clear across. Um, so let's measure it. From here to here, basically, 800, 900 miles, it's about 900 miles, this guy right here, and, hmm, I thought I was seeing, just for a second there, like this line this is the one I'm referring to and then you can almost see like a faint line across here but that may not be related and it, I may not that may not actually be there my eyes might just be making stuff up okay uh, but let's get a good look at this guy just like a uh, cross hatched little pattern it's kind of straight in some places and then it kind of meanders as well somewhat organically like but it definitely seems artificial, like you see it start and stop. 
So this is just image stitching, maybe. And we have all this other stuff as well. Uh, you know, a, a very weird look to it if it is just image stitching. And of course this one also uh, running more or less parallel to it across and then diverging here. So, uh, and little grooves like this as well. So I would say too low resolution to say definitively on any of this stuff. And the mapping is probably going to be a little bit messy uh, due to the extreme depth of the ocean and I don't know, any number of confounding factors. But yeah, we can see these grooves actually continue out into the Atlantic. Here, like, there we go. So just, and then this is like dotted and we continue and continue and continue basically stitching across the whole world. Okay. Really cool, really cool. Uh, there's another one. This is an interesting area. Lots of angles here, grooves. More of the same. You could check it out off the northwest coast, coast, coast of Africa. And yeah, same deal. Lots of stuff, lots of angles and angular grooves and stuff. And if I remember, there's like a, a interesting like rectangular array somewhere up here. Maybe I have a place mark. Just interesting grooves. This might be it. There's the parallel grooves here. Er, 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 er. Er. Lots of stuff going on. Okay. Awesome. And nose image stitching. Multiple orientations. Yada yada. Dots and stuff. Okie dokie. All right, let's hop back to the images. Linear ridge or groove, maybe. Let's check that one out. So this one is uh, off the northwest coast of South America and right here, so obviously many grooves and lines in the area, and this one just looking like it, it's got a taper to it, like if you notice it's narrower here, or less wide than it is right here, a little wider, a little uh, narrower, so there, I mean, I suppose that could be regular, uh, image stitching issue, but it's just a weird, and it's got like a, a contour to it, like rounded across, it looks like. So maybe a legitimate feature. And then of course, all the other stuff in the area, like, okay, this interesting possible direction change here, or this, I guess. Or actually, I think it's two intersecting lines rather. And then this groove, This big long guy here, this fairly straight thing, whatever that is. Dots, grooves of many, uh, just many grooves. So the blur, I wonder if that's lapses in available data. Like you see how this area is mapped more uh, clearly and crisply than this area. So I wonder if that's lapses in data availability or maybe it's deeper so they can't get a good mapping on it. Like this is all well mapped and stuff, but then right here it's like all blurry. So I wonder why that is. Um, but 
it. Uh, okay, and then we have this quite stark groove here. See this guy with grooves across, plenty of them, dots along the rim of it. Interesting. Then we have this mess right here. Interesting as well. And This, I can imagine these, oh, this is like, a, I had a still image of this one, like direction change, like flowy, uh, like right here, like this ridge, and then this ridge, and even this one, and then this like nice flowy streak there. Um, could be natural. This looks interesting. Excuse me. Okay. And um, once again, similar story pretty much anywhere on the ocean floor or many places. All right. So I think I hit this area pretty good. Oh, here's, I had an image of this, like the cross hatching and the direction changes and stuff. So quite messy look in some areas. Messy pat patches of blur. Okay, image stitching glitch. So this is over off of uh, Florida. And it is, it's like a short segment of ridge or something like that, groove and quick measurement width, three miles across. So not, not a internet cable. And we have this angular stuff potentially right here. Okay, interesting. And then see the, the start and stop nature of it? Like, what? And like, kind of broken up right here. Alrighty. Little lines right there. All kinds of shizzle. Okay, so next up we have these bumps and dots uh, off of Crete in the Mediterranean. So let's hop over there. Is this the right island? No, I think it's this one. Yeah, right here. So these, this array of rectangular or angular array of Bumpy dots, more bumpy dots, kind of random, and uh, all over, kind of similar look. And these parallel lines may just be image glitches, or it may actually be there. I don't know. All right. These lines, dirt, dirt, dirt. So I couldn't tell you what these mounds are. Maybe they're little cities, underwater cities, full of Ewoks. Let me, um, well, first of all, let me turn my place marks on. Yeah, just, okay, let me search the word Braille, because I think there are a couple more examples of that. More Braille. Okay, so up here, there's more of it uh, up near I don't know, whatever country this is, uh, but similar look. So whether these are actual features on the ocean floor, again, I'm not sure. 
they may even be natural, but it's just a very interesting look. The, the dots, whatever they may be, ditches or grooves or mountains or volcanic uh, mounds or something like that. Uh, just a very interesting thing to consider. And then what up here, more, more of them over here. So just like lines of dots. See that? That's not striking me as a legitimate uh, image rendering issue, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's, that's all of the examples on that phenomenon. Let's jump over to uh, this guy, image stitching. typo there. Okay. So this is off of uh, Australia, I guess, Northern Australia. And so these, these lines going across this way, these like little short ones, and then this, 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 blah, 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 same dealy bobber. Just different styles of uh, weirdness. Okay, and possible ridges here. Oh, and then I had a, an, another image nearby of this area. These potential parallel ridges. Let's see if they're there in previous images. Oops. Can't really tell, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't really have any previous data on this, unfortunately. So, yeah, some kind of parallel something, maybe. Tubes, pipes, uh, doodling, and then a possible ridge here or something. Okay, let's uh, head back to our images. And just as I'm looking here, I'm noticing like, see this this island and the, the ridge here? So I wonder if that's natural, like see this, this ridge right there and it kind of curves around here, like a nice curvature. And then it's part of this island feature, so I could imagine that being natural for sure, but there's a chance it's artificial, so just pointing it out there and like even these little curves and stuff. Tough call. Okay, let's cruise, keep keep cruising on. So we hit this one. Oh, triangular feature. I'm gonna skip this one, it's kind of redundant. Odd ridges and grooves. Maybe take a quick look there. So here we are off of California, it looks like. And maybe natural, or it may just look. Well, see the surrounding areas are blurry, so it's tough to get a feel for the context. So I'm just referring to this guy and then multiple others in different directions. Here we get a halfway decent look at the ocean floor here. Interesting flows. Natural maybe, maybe not. Possible angular stuff here. It's too too glitchy to say for sure. All right. Anomalous ridge ditch. So this guy right here. 
uh, off of uh, Northwest, I'm sorry, Northeast uh, North America. And where'd it go? Canada, it looks like. And this guy, let's get a quick measurement on it, just in case you think that's a underwater cable or pipeline. So two miles across. Uh, that's pretty pretty wide pipe. <laughs> I don't know any internet cables that are two miles wide. And then it just kind of, you see it kind of uh, fade in and fade out. So it's presumably somewhat buried or like more submerged here and more exposed here and then more submerged again, possibly. And it kind of faintly continues along here, whatever it is. See this? So it just continues and then possibly curving here. So possible terraforming remnants or uh, some kind of maneuver of whatever. Here we have this guy. This is pretty interesting, this right here. This long angular trajectory of some kind, path or whatever. And maybe continuing like this. Let's look at that one more time. Where'd it go? Yeah, this guy. And then it just kind of dead ends right there. Okie dokie. And some messy, whole bunch of angles and stuff here. This nice groove there, nice wide groove. And then it, look how, look at, look how it's a nice wide groove and then it just gets really narrow here. So that's an interesting detail. And then it widens out again. So we've, we've touched on the idea of uh, something which uh, does multiple different operations along a continuous path. So it's, it's, it's wobulating or modulating as it goes. So it's wider here and then narrower and then um, wider. And then it looks like it narrows again a little bit. And then it widens quite a bit. And then just looks like it peters out there. So potential derpy maneuvers. Uh, all right, I think that'll do it for that. What else? We got rounded corners. This area with these, where are we? First of all, we are, uh, it's like west coast of the US and these rounded corners, like here we see the same thing. So is that the, uh, the rendering engine uh, bending the imagery or like bending the data to, f to fit a, a flat 2D representation? Could be, I suppose. Is it tracks from some kind of large scale terraforming? Could be. Um, here's an angular uh, thing, kind of reminiscent of cartoonish rivers, just the almost the right angle there. Could be natural. But these, this rounded stuff, looking like a, a tractor just doing crisscrossing an area. Uh, and then there's the, the possibility that it's. Uh, deceptive uh, post-processing. So like it's, um, it could be legitimate post-processing, like uh, legitimate imaging, image rendering uh, issue, or it could be a uh, more dubious, less innocent uh, image rendering issue where someone is, uh, or some algorithm is injecting phony details into the imagery just to make it more complicated or whatever. So uh, some curves going on to consider. You see this one like curve a little this way and then back the other way. Many different details. These parallel lines, I don't know if those are actually there. It might be like these ones going this way, regularly spaced for sure. Uh, I don't know.
got this one already. And awkwardly rounded wide lines. So this is probably as the middle of the Atlantic somewhere, or Pacific, yeah, Pacific. And it's just a big old rounded uh, feature there. And another one going this way and kind of intersecting and see how they intersect. Boy, could be any number of things. These mounds to consider as well. And some of these looking flat, some of them looking, have a rounded look to them. And uh, these mounds where they intersect. So that's an interesting detail. And these irregular uh, or semi-regular lines on, in the uh, opposite direction to the, to the linear aspect of it. Uh, so it's, uh, and then of course these parallel lines here. Dur, 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 dur. Somewhat strange. More parallel somethings, possibly, ridges. Nice little curve there. Weird. Shit show. Many lines. Long straight line in ocean floor is image artifact. So here we are, uh, middle of the Atlantic, and it looks like this line kind of, see, kind of see it here, or maybe that's a different one, but lots of lines like here. Um, but yeah, this guy might be a legit feature on the ocean floor potentially. Okay, and blurred out here, and then we see more of it. Okie dokie, here with the cross hatching pattern. Interestingly enough, uh, this, these parallel lines are uh, looking similar to these ones, or like along the same line not as opposed to in other areas we have it like at a, at a right angle to the to the path whereas these ones line up with this path so i don't quite know what to make of that and then rounded trajectories here curves so whatever <laughs> whatever sauce forever And okay, I'm gonna call it a video for now, and we'll pick up in the next video with this business off of Sardinia. So uh, tune in for that. All right, see you later.